I'm with Manuel Silvia today. Could you tell us the name of the company and um, where you're based? Sure. Manuel Silva with Amni Ventures, uh, based out of Houston, Texas. Uh, was kindly invited to this uh, this uh, convention here with Close Cross, the support of one of the investments I've recently made. And can you tell me something a bit about your company's activities, what you do, and how you've ended up with uh, Close Cross? Sure. So I originally came from the oil and gas space, from old industry, and I see a tremendous amount of inefficiencies in traditional businesses and have been looking into uh, advanced technologies to bring forward uh, new processes to improve uh, the relationship amongst old businesses. And it brought me into the investment of Close Cross, which is really revolutionizing the financial trading industry. So I understand it that you've sort of found a way to link old money with new money. Can you talk a little bit more about that? Sure. So through 30 years of my career globally, uh, working in the oil and gas space and specifically and especially chemicals. There are a lot of different um, elements of the supply chain from raw materials through production all the way through distribution and uh, then the back end office that a lot of people forget about is the uh, invoicing and collection. So through blockchain technology in particular and with automation that's available and AI, there's a lot of efficiency gain that can be brought to the front world of actual running businesses that touch and fill everybody's life today. Everything from energy, to shelter, to food, to clothing, to uh, infrastructure. So how does all of that bring you along with Close Cross? So Close Cross has, uh, is looking to revolutionize the uh, financial trading environment and it's not necessarily directly uh, within the landscape of what I've traditionally done but I saw this amazing uh, global opportunity that uh, I got to know the founder at his, actually his wedding uh, some eight years ago and uh, through uh, more dialogue of recent uh, learned about his project that he was launching and uh, I believe he'll be able to tell us a little bit more about that. Met yesterday, but can yes. you tell us again what uh, Close Cross, Cross um, does? Right, so Close Cross provides the market participants an alternative to the financial derivatives industry. Uh, financial derivatives is 1200 trillion a year, it's the world's largest market, but it's only accessible to 1 to 2% of the people, right? And that's for good reason too, because there's a lot of problems with the current market. And Close Cross is solving for all those issues, right? So we take out the complexity out of the whole financial derivatives trading for the consumers. We make it a very human process. We take out the need for leverage because mainly now we are creating collective prediction markets. So essentially, instead of thousands of one-to-one -one contracts, we take thousands of people and we put them into one smart contract. It's a patent back project. We started in the space in 2007. Right, so we got the patents approved in 2011. That forms the basis for what Close Cross does in terms of a multi-party settlement mechanism because you need that when there is nobody in between but it's all only the people. And we have algorithms which are what we call knowledge value of time. So when there is no centralized party executing the risk reward calculations and redistributions, how do you do it in an automated manner? So we've combined the blockchain technology to create the transparency layer. We're combining our patented multi-party settlement mechanism as an automation and the knowledge value of time uh, algorithms to drive the fairness of pricing and reward recognition, right? So to all these things coming together, we now give people something which they can use every day without having the complexity in the background. And um, if Manuel, I can bring you back into the picture. Sure. Um, as an investor, what are you looking for when you invest into companies like Postcard? Sure, very good question. A lot of people ask, especially coming from a very old and traditional uh, business landscape, uh, why would I be here at such a uh, technology conference? And uh, there's a couple of different things that uh, bring me into an investment like this. Number one, uh, is it, is it uh, optimizing a current business partnership or relationship that ex is existing today in today's marketplace? So um, if it doesn't do that, I'm not as interested uh, to, to invest. Number two, is it global in reference to what solution they're bringing forward? So close crosses uh, check mark on both of those. And number three, which is quite important, is it scalable? Um, so Close Cross is number one, solving a, uh, or optimizing a partnership that's a business relationship that's already existing. Number two, it's a global marketplace. And number three, it's highly scalable. And to, as Vibob mentioned, the world's largest marketplace of $1,200 trillion annually. So when you're investing into country, um, companies, sorry, what um, stage would you like these companies to be in? Do you look more, more at um, early stage companies or later on? 
Sure. So I have a number of investments still in old traditional space that are already running. They're more like cash cows. Uh, but I also have investments that are a startup like Close Cross that are early uh, entry into the marketplace. So I have a, a widespread of uh, different investments. But in this environment, I'm not scared to invest in startups. Thank you very much for your comments. They've been very helpful. And um, I hope you enjoy the rest of the summer. Thank you.